The sixth word, a word of completion, found in John chapter 19, verse 30. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Finished. I think it's hard for me to think of anything that's ever finished, all the way finished. Yeah, there are small things that are finished. Uh, when I finish a book, yes, the book is all the way finished. When I clean off my plate and earn the nickel from my mother for having a happy plate, I have finished it. But the big things, the important things, most of them in life are ongoing. The car maintenance, the cleaning, the grocery shopping, the laundry, the learning. Are they ever really finished? No. Even if I do them and do them well before long, I will need to redo them. Who of us would dare to say that we are finished working on our relationships with others? Who of us would dare to say, even if we're in a good relationship with someone else right now, who of us could say that there's no room for improvement or getting better? We couldn't say that our relationships are totally finished at improving them. And many people think that, uh, that that's the sort of way that we need to approach God. We always need to try to get a little bit better and getting closer to God by the good things that we do and accomplish. But when that thought hits home about status before God, always getting better and better to get on God's good side and be able to remain there, they fall short of the big picture. That approach of always getting better to improve our relationship with God may, be, may seem humble, but in fact it is wrong. It actually re ignores Jesus' last word here, his sixth word, finished. It is finished. And in the Greek, it's actually just one word. Some of you may know the Greek word tetelestai. That's what was used in, in the marketplace when somebody paid off the end of the bill, the last debt that they owed, paid in full. So listen to what other parts of scriptures tell us about what is finished. Hebrews, in the book of Hebrews, it says, Christ was sacrificed once to take away the sins of many. The priest had offered for all time one sacrifice for sins. Sacrifices for sin? Finished. Romans, the Apostle Paul says in Romans, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. He was delivered, o delivered over to death for our sins. Condemnation of God's law? Finished. The book of Hebrews also says, By one sacrifice, Jesus has made perfect forever those who are being made holy. The need to measure up to God's standards in life? Finished. Jesus said this word from the cross, most literally one word, paid in full. And he said it because it needed to be heard. Not by the Heavenly Father. God the Father knew that it was paid in full. He said it so that you and I would hear it and know it as well. So when, when we wonder if those things that we need to do to approach God have been done, we know finished, not by us, but by Jesus in our place. And when the question comes to us, perhaps even on our deathbed, we can know the truth. Yes, my payment, my way to heaven has been paid in full. It is finished.